Hi everyone. There are lots of ways to make resources available online and to be able to share those in a variety of different ways. Google Drive is one of those ways and it's one of the ways that we want to use this summer for PPLCI to make sure that we make it things accessible for people in the future. And so if you have downloaded the PowerPoint presentation and you want to upload that back so you can embed it in that web page, I want to show you how to do that. There's a couple things that a few settings that I want to be sure that you know about so that it is accessible and it's easy for people to get to and see. So the first thing is as soon as you are logged in with your Google account and you go to your Google Drive page, you can see that I already have a presentation on my screen here and I'm in my folder that says Parkway Conferences and this is just kind of where I'm going to start keeping things like PPLCI and the Secondary Institute. So before you get started, one of the first things you have to do though, before you try to upload something, is change your settings. And the settings for Google Drive, you're gonna find over on the right hand side of the screen. So right up here, there's this little gear, and that is the settings box. And so clicking on settings is gonna give you this drop down. And what you have to do is come down here to where it says upload settings. And under upload settings, you're going to see three different options here. So what I suggest is that you have two items checked. First of all, the top one, convert uploaded files to Google Docs format. What that does is it takes the PowerPoint file and converts it to a Google presentation, or takes a Word file and makes it a Google Doc, or takes an Excel file and makes a Google spreadsheet. And what that keeps you from doing is filling up your space, and it makes it a little more accessible and easier to share. So if you put convert uploaded files to the Google Docs format, if you have that checked, that's the first step. And then, so that's this top one here. And then the other one that I would recommend that you do is confirm settings before each upload because sometimes you may not want it to be converted to a Google Docs format. If you want to distribute a Word file at PPLCI this summer, for instance, you can store that on your drive, but you don't want it to be a... Google Doc because you want other people to be able to access it later as a Word file so that maybe they can distribute it to their students. Maybe it's a handout, something like that. So I would suggest that you have those two checked and as soon as you have those who checked, in order to upload a file, you come back over to the left-hand side, right beside Create. You'll see this arrow pointing up. And if you look at that arrow and roll over it, it's going to say Upload. Well, I'm going to go ahead and click Upload and I'm going to upload a file. So clicking on files is going to bring up a browser window so that I can go out and find the document that I want. Now here is PPLCI template so I'm going to go ahead and click on that click open and it's going to pull up this upload settings. Now you're going to see that these are the same settings that we just changed. Had we not changed that confirm settings before each upload you wouldn't see this window. This is fine for me. I'm going to click start upload and that's going to go through and upload and then also convert that PowerPoint file into a Google Docs file. And you can see that I have two of them here. Well, this top one is the one that I just uploaded. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to open up in a new window. The other setting that you need to do is you need to make it accessible to other people. Okay, so if you don't go through this process and you embed it on your website, nobody else will be able to see it but you because you're logged into your, to your Google Drive. So now I'm in my presentation. I'm going to go to File and I'm going to click Publish to the Web. Now this isn't going to give people editing rights. This is just going to give them the ability to see your presentation online. Click on Publish to the Web. It's going to open up this little dialog box. Click on Start Publishing. It'll ask you again, do you want to publish this document? Click OK. Your document, your presentation is now online. And this right here is the document link. So you can share this document link with somebody if you want to, but really for our purposes for PPLCI this summer, we've done what we need to do. So remember, change the settings, your upload settings. Go ahead and upload your presentation. Make sure you change it to a Google presentation and then go into that presentation, go to file, publish to the web and start publishing that file. Once you've done that, your presentation is now accessible to other people online. 
This is good for lots of reasons, but really for our purposes right now, we want other people to go and be able to see your presentation online so they can follow along during your presentation. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know.